Hello and welcome to RC Birds and thanks for stopping by. As you know, just a year ago I bought this drift stunt tank, Ripsaw, and I'm really happy with it. It has a good performance for the less money it takes to buy it. And now they have improved the model and I bought a new one. So in this video I unbox this car and show you what we got and take a little comparison to the older ones. So first let's have a look on the box. We got here some description. It's now called Crawler 2. It has forward, backward, left turn, right turn, spray and light. They say something about the gear wheel, planetary double current wave box, bilateral independent suspension, 360 degree pirouette, metal guide wheel bracket and 5 cm folding depth. I don't know why they have this uh, tank picture here. Top parts, scale 1 by 12 and 2.4 gigahertz. This is the front view. And uh, as you can see, there are two different colors available. Let's say it's the same. They mentioned the metal gear parts and the transmitter. Here we have some labels. They say that you need three AA batteries, some caution notes. And here we have the two models that are available. This is uh, blue and uh, this is a gray version. Gray is with white and uh, as I see it right, and as I ordered it, uh, it should be blue with silver. On the top of the box, we see the spray function and the lights and also some features. But let's be honest, this is all nice world. We know this is uh, slightly a toy and you don't have to believe everything they write onto it. So here is our manual, complete in Chinese, but with sketches. Uh, here is also an English description. There is a little bottle for the spray. Yes, it's silver. It's not white, it's silver. You probably notice that something is missing. We get to that in a minute. So this is a civil version. 
there are no doors. The cockpit is slightly better made than the ones in the former model. We have an engine in the back. The tracks look a little bit thicker compared to the other model. Now I need a screwdriver. But for this model, this isn't an issue. You don't need the screw. These two notches hold the battery door in place. Here's the USB charger. The battery plug is not the same as on the old model. So unfortunately, I cannot use both batteries in each car. And here is a water tank for the fog generator, which sits right in here. They say use normal water, but uh, our water has uh, many chalk in it. So I use uh, desolated water to increase the lifetime of this smoke generator. So it's time for a little function test. If you see the new transmitter, here is a rubber wheel. We have here a button for the stonk and a button to turn it on. The old car has only the on off switch and the same is uh, on the car. There is a on off switch and this car has a button. So you can see we have here only the roof lights. And a slightly proportional steering. So now we fire up new one. And here, is a button. as you can see, we've got roof lights too additional lights in the front, additional lights in the back. I already filled up the water tank here. It says uh, take 200 milliliters, which is marked here. But this little thing is never ever 200 milliliters. These are 200 milliliters. But uh, if you stay on the marking, you're good to go and the smoke generator will run. It has a little bit to struggle because the uh, rubber tracks are new and uh, you see some waves on it. But I think after a few runs, this will be nice and smooth. So it's better I fix the car. In reverse, it seems as if it was slightly slower. But it works. So now we come to the smoke generator. I had already tested it. And as I see, there's some condensed water coming out. So you have to clean it up after the run. This looks nice. Red and blue lights are flashing. And I dim the lights here in the studio so I can show you it better. See, the smoke is illuminated too.
So, I thank you for watching. If you got some questions, write it down in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And the next video will be the running of the new drift stunt tank. See you soon on RC Birds.